most of the time I spent just designing products digitally, you know, but uh, there was something missing. Like I wanted to make it by hand. People our age, they don't find modern bikes attractive. So they go to vintage bikes, you know, and they buy Hondas from the 70s, from the 80s, and they sort of put their own touch to it. So I thought, how can we sort of combine that, the technology of today, but still kind of go back to the minimalistic um, design of it. And during the prototype stage, uh, 3D printing felt like a natural uh, technology to use. You know, we wouldn't have to invest into molding, injection, and so on. A lot of parts on the bikes are 3D printed. For example, the front brake levers uh, are 3D printed in aluminum. Uh, the side panels are fully 3D printed and just joined together. The rear uh, seat light is 3D printed out of uh, recycled bottles, which is the lens cover. The headlight is 3D printed. What we used uh, for 3D printing, a lot of it is uh, um, a filament made out of hemp, which is fully biodegradable. A filament made out of algae. The inside of the panels are reinforced with flaxseed uh, weave, which is a perfect alternative to carbon fiber. Kind of looking at the landscape of where machine learning artificial intelligence is, it just felt pretty natural to use a visual recognition model. So how can we enhance that by adding proximity sensors, ultrasonic sensors and cameras and kind of let the bike see the road? So, and the, for example, you would be riding and a car in front of you wants to make a turn. The bike would be able to predict that way before your brain actually processes that and just give you an alert on the dashboard. So, not to remove your experience, but rather enhance it. In the future development, we want to add various haptic features. So, for example, the handlebars would vibrate, similar to how your uh, mobile phone is. So, let's say there's a car behind you, the right handlebar would just bloop, bloop, vibrate and kind of notify you because we want the rider to be focused on the road and not on everything that goes around it. We aim to have a first version of the machine learning, which um, basically tracks the rider information. So let's say you're out riding for 20 minutes. At the end of the ride, you can sync all that information from the bike to your smartphone and get statistics over how you ride, how close you are in front of the car, Electrical vehicles are very quiet, uh, almost too quiet. So we worked with a sound designer in Sweden and developed a, a custom sound of how the bike actually sounds. So when you turn it on, it makes a power sound, and then when you open the throttle, it makes an additional sound that complements the motor. to lose. So let's see everything that's out there.